ages ago I showed you a holiday sketchbook that I'd, I'd done and the very last page was an image transfer my sister me my husband and lenny and people said oh how did you do that so then and i'll put links to these i showed you where is it here it is image transfer onto paper of of the time green and then i i did this page in my my art journal and one of the questions i've got was yeah yeah you've done it on paper can you do it onto canvas so i thought yeah i'll show you how so i've got the same photo it needs to be printed out on a laser printer because inkjet printers the ink will will lift it's possible that you won't get as crisp a, a print you need to reverse the image if that's important so if you've got text it's really important to reverse the, the image and then to check it to size because we are going to re uh, remove the paper, I think anything to make life easier is a good thing. So personally, I would remove spare paper around the photo if you can. I like to tear it. I'll try not to tear my husband's head off. <laughs> um, because it makes it easier to disguise the edge if it's torn if it's a straight cut edge it, it's kind of more obvious i think i might apply it like this and then i'll put some extra little bits up here if it turns out nicely i will give it to my my sister because she really liked this photo well we all all really liked it so i've got my canvas and i've got my photo ready what i use to adhere the the photo is matte gel medium and i do find the pabio gel medium good obviously if you've got one already of a different sort goodness sakes please use it uh, if you want to use gloss you can because i want to mix it with watercolor i find matte is better i need to apply medium to the canvas where i want it to stick and i need to be pretty generous without having big blobs and big troughs i need a glue sheet and then i put more matte medium on top of my image in the same way and i like to do both the image some people just do the image some people just do the canvas i like to do both because i don't want to miss one spot we then apply the photo to the place we want press it down now this is a tiny canvas but on a larger canvas you get more bounce so pressing it down is really really important if it was on a bigger canvas i would put a book underneath to give a firm support i don't think i can do that here or we'll need to you can use a card start from the middle and scrape out be careful if you scrape out any of the medium because you don't want to get it on the back of your paper so just have a, a piece of kitchen towel to hand so you could do that you could use a spoon the back of a spoon and rub it in place you could use a roller once you're happy that it's really stuck in place we need to let that dry i would say at least a couple of hours depending how hot or cold it is in your studio possibly overnight don't forget to wash your brush up because once it's dry it's waterproof you won't be getting that off the little canvas has dried overnight so it is totally dry and now we have to remove the paper and what we do is simply wet the back of the paper with clean water like that and you can see how the image starts to show through and when it is damp you don't want it sodden but when it's damp you can start to rub off the paper just use a gentle circular motion with your finger and remove 
these little bits of papier mache off the back. Really use your sense of touch and feel for where the paper is and also just look so that if any of that ink starts to lift don't press so hard and you can reveal the image. Now this was a laser print. You can do this process with an inkjet print but what you will find is lots more of the ink comes off and the whole thing will fade down. I've done a whole film comparing the two and coming up with some solutions. I'll put a link to that in the description. If you're finding this interesting or useful, please think about subscribing and liking and commenting because that all helps YouTube show this film to more people. If you're finding that it's getting too dry, just add a little bit more water. That'll sort of depend on what your atmospherics are like. You may find that some of the ink starts to lift. Can you see on the sort of edge as it folds around the canvas, a little bit of the ink has started to lift. That is pretty unavoidable in my experience. You know, if you want an absolutely perfect transfer either you're going to be very lucky or you need to use a totally different method and what i might do is turn this into a little bit of a mixed media piece and do more work on top so i don't have a problem with that i would pay particular attention to white areas because it's quite easy to miss the fact that you haven't removed white paper from a white area. You've removed all the paper you can possibly feel and see. I would let it dry just to double check what's going on. To, to seal and protect that transfer, I would just grab a little more of your gel and put a nice thin layer over the top to let that dry. So if you just want to see how an image transfer works on canvas, you've seen it. But if you want to see what I'm going to do to turn this into a little mixed media piece, come back for part two.